Welcome to my kitchen, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the introductory video and that you understood the message that I was saying in that video. It is that if you drink bad water, it could have serious health effects or it can even kill you. That is why today I'm talking about drinking good, healthy water. And I'm going to be talking about my new addition here, this water filter, which is the Alexa Pure Pro. I got it about three weeks ago and my main intent is every time that I can, I want to collect rainwater uh, outside. Uh, the first week that I got it, I put three buckets out there and I collected about eight gallons of water. And I started filtering one when I put it all together and I noticed it was going very slow. So I went back and I read the instructions all the way through to see if I missed something. And not only did I have to clean it in the inside, which I had done that, uh, I was supposed to run water through it once or twice to flush the system. So the rainwater that I collected, that I put in there, I ran it through, then I put tap water in there and I ran it through. And then um, some of the rainwater that I had left, I put it back in there, I ran it through and I started drinking that water. Right now I have a bunch of water that I collected because of Hurricane uh, Matthew that just came through. I roughly collected about 20 gallons of water and I have like a blue cooler in the garage and I have some other containers that I put out there. So it's all free water and I'm going to filter it and just have clean, pure, free water is my intent. So some of the things about this filter, the reasons that I got it is because it is stainless steel Another reason is that it doesn't require any power. It's run by gravity. You just put the water in here. The filter is already in there. You just screw it on and it trickles down to the bottom and then you just drink it through the spigot here or you just put it in another container. They claim that it's 2.25 gallons of water on top and 2.25 gallons at the bottom. But once you put a filter in there, it takes off space so it might not be that much. It, it'll probably hold that down here, but not on, on top. During my use of it, I noticed that the more water that you have on top, the faster it drains down, even though it's a slow process. But as the water is going down, it becomes slower and slower as it's dripping down because the filter is standing up in there. So as the water goes down, less and less water is touching the filter so less of the filter is working and quite possibly maybe less water pressure that's pushing inside the filter to go down so the first half will go down faster than the second half uh, that is why i went and bought a second filter and i put it in there and the difference is it's pretty noticeable once you have two filters going at it at the same time. This system is rated for 5,000 gallons. If you do a quick math, 5,000 gallons, if you do one gallon a day, that's 5,000 days of water. So that comes out to like about 13 years. And one, it has the capacity to hold four filters. There's four different holes in there. The ones that you're not using, there's a rubber uh, plug that you put in the holes that you're not using. And you can just run one, two, three, or four filters. I have two in there. So that doubles the life of the filter and it doubles the speed and the amount of water that is being filtered because now it's two filters going at it at the same time. I went to their website and they have a, a report that is about five pages long and it gives you a list of many things that this thing filters and it gives you the percentage. Most of it is 99% that it takes out. Some of them it'll say 95%, 97%. It gives you the name of the company, uh, the lab over, the, over in New Jersey that they did that and the name of the director of the department in case you want to look up any of that information. Um, they do tell you that you don't need any tools 
to operate this filter that's not completely true because this top right here this little handle here you have to screw it on so you're gonna need a, one screwdriver to screw that on and then that's it the rest you just screw things on and with your hand and, and that's it you so this is very portable once you put this in you never have to take it out and you can take this anywhere this bottom part fits in the top part for storage so it brings down the size to half and you just take it anywhere the second filter that i order because it comes with one it comes in this box and it's very well uh, packaged uh, this box see he's got this foam and it comes in there these are the instructions and I decided to keep it because this is a pretty good thing to store anything because it's got all this padding all around it. So, and it can come out. You can put whatever in there and just store it. So, so far I'm, I'm really liking this filter. It's very portable. I can move it out of the counter, put it on the floor, on the other counters. I already have a blue container over there that I bought at a local local store it's over here actually but I make sure that it was BPA uh, free let me grab it for you so this container holds seven gallons of water and on top well there it is it says the BPA free so as I filter water I've been putting it in here and from here I put it in a glass container in the refrigerator and I drink it from there. So one of the reasons for having a water filter is, is being prepared for any situation. As I mentioned earlier, Hurricane Matthew just came through on the East Coast and many people are probably still without uh, electricity, maybe without water as well. So when it rains like that, you know, hopefully there are no emergencies where you lost your house and people got hurt, but if you're able to gather some water, it'll help you survive until you know you get electricity or people come help you out. Because all you gotta do is filter, there's no electricity, so you just filter the water, run it through, because you can't go too many days without water. And the tap water, I don't really trust I expect to, not I expect, I will be uh, filtering all the tap water because what they do is they grab water, for example, from the Everglades and they send it through some pipes to the water purification plant. They take out all the minerals out of that water and anything that's good and then they add on other chemicals in there. Then they send it to your house through pipes that's been in the ground for 10 20 30 years and they charge you for it they put a bunch of chemicals in in those water pharmaceuticals and fluoride which almost every house in the united states <clears throat> uh, is receiving water with fluoride and fluoride is one of the things that this filter takes out so i will be filtering all of my tap water and every time it rains i'm going to put some containers right out there and I'm gonna collect water as you recently saw. I have seven gallons of free water there. So go to the store and buy seven gallons of water and then buy seven more and seven more, you'll see that it, add, it adds up. So with this, now I'm saving all of that money because I'm using less tap water. I'm not going out and buying uh, bottled water, which is another uh, bad idea. You don't know what those companies put in that water. So I do recommend the, this system. I highly um, advise everybody to filter the water, to have clean water. You cannot trust what the governments are putting into the water and sending it to your house. This will help you out, giving you clean, fresh water and quite possibly for free. If you have a river nearby, you can probably collect some water from there, bring it home, put it in here and filter it. For now, I won't do that, but if I have to, hey, why not? I'll do it. I enjoy uh, living free and getting uh, free water, free energy. So, 
This has been a very good investment in, in my opinion. I highly recommend everybody to check out the Alexa Pure uh, water filter. I've had it for three weeks. The water tastes really good. I put water in there overnight. Next morning I wake up, I filter all of it out and it's two gallons of water that I just have for the next day or two. And then I put more and I keep filtering. And it's free if you got it from the rain. So if you have any questions about this system, anything that you want me to explain that I, that I probably missed, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to address uh, your comments. So look into it and try it out. I highly recommend it. So stay safe and thank you for watching.